I've never seen anyone quite like Meghan Markle so cunning and brazen. Apparently, Meghan has pressured one of Harry's friends into promoting her new product, and the friend's discomfort has led to criticism of Meghan. Despite this, she refuses to acknowledge her mistakes and instead challenges the online community even more. Join us as we analyze this incident in detail in our upcoming video. Hello friends, welcome back to the King YouTube channel. Frankly, I doubt Meghan Markle's new business stands a chance and she needs to come to terms with that reality. It's clear she's unwilling to put in the necessary effort for it to succeed. So imagine my surprise when Meghan exploited Harry's friends to promote her products. So why Harry's friends and not her own friends? Well, you know the answer to that. She has no friends, or perhaps she fears her friends would ask her for money, as that's what she would do to them. Even though Harry doesn't have as many friends as he used to, at least he still has a few. Once a royal prince, he had plenty of friends he could take advantage of, similar to how Meghan has taken full advantage of Harry. Today's topic was actually suggested by a viewer who loves our channel and hopes we'll cover this topic next. I appreciate the love. Anyway, I've thoroughly researched this issue, so I ask you all to do me a huge favor and watch the entire video until the end. Now, back to the story. Polo player Nacho Figueroa posted a photo on Instagram of himself eating, guess what? Jam on toast while posing with Meghan Markle's new product, clearly displaying the American Riviera Orchard label. The caption read, have I told you I love your jam, however? It's worth noting that his demeanor didn't seem entirely natural. He appeared uncomfortable promoting the product. Obviously, this wasn't something Nacho was excited about doing. It seemed like he was forced into it by Harry and Meghan. At this point, nobody wants to be associated with them. They're toxic. I struggle to see anything positive about Meghan. All I see is scandal and drama because, well, that's her brand. But amidst all this negativity, there's some good news. Meghan's latest business move actually boosted sales for King Charles' own version of Jam. It's been reported that mere hours after Meghan Markle released her new Jam, King Charles' Highgrove Organic Strawberry Preserve sold out. So this time, we do need to say a big thank you to Meghan Markle. Thanks to Meghan, we realize that other people's products, not only the King's, but many others are a lot better than what Meghan has to offer. Back to Nacho. Last time I checked, he's a grown man. Surely he can make his own decisions in life, especially regarding what he posts on his Instagram. But I found his attitude amusing, as if he was coerced into it. Perhaps Meghan and Harry are using Nacho to boost their own popularity. However, I believe Nacho has been using Harry too. I don't think for a second that he genuinely likes him. He's simply leveraging Harry's royal connections. It seems like a mutual exploitation they use Nacho and Nacho uses them. In fact, most of Harry and Meghan's relationships seem to follow this pattern. This is one of those instances where we can truly see the disparity between Harry and Meghan at one point. Harry actually engaged in genuine charity work. It's amusing to me how Harry uses his passion for playing polo to raise money for African countries, while Meghan leverages her friends to generate income for herself. Clearly, this leopard can't change her spots. Harry and Meghan never seem to do things out of genuine concern or to help others they're always calculating. They ensure they gain something from everything they do. However, these events only raise about a million dollars a year, and much of that likely goes towards expenses such as appearance fees for Harry and Meghan, or perhaps Meghan Markle's wardrobe. It seems like just an excuse for Harry, the philanthropist, to play polo while having someone else foot the bill. It's sad to see how Harry, when he was a genuine royal prince, especially during his time as a working royal, engaged in a lot of charitable work. However, it seems like Meghan has taught him how to be shameless and cringeworthy. Just like that odd, outdated maid's cap placed on top of Meghan Markle's jam jar is such a waste of fabric, right? It'll likely end up in the garbage once the jar is opened. How is that eco-friendly? Anyway, I won't be buying any of her products. I don't want to risk being poisoned. I've also heard that Nacho posted photos on his Instagram where he was seen making out with someone. Woo. I can only imagine he faced her wrath after that. Maybe that's how he got roped into posting about this jam on his Instagram. Anyway, given Harry and Meghan's current situation, I doubt they'll find anyone else willing to advertise a product like Nacho did. If they don't take advantage of each other, it'll likely involve coercion and threats. I've been thinking if Harry does become a U.S. citizen and has to relinquish all his titles, maybe we won't have to hear about them anymore. Wouldn't that be great? At that point, they'd just be regular people. I don't see why they would be of any interest to UK citizens, 
They'll travel to events as ordinary individuals, so they won't garner much attention. I hope they don't try to find some ridiculous excuse to come back to the UK. They would become a laughing stock. They've lost public support permanently. They should just stay put in Montecito, California as a couple of regular folks. The way Prince Harry has behaved since introducing Meghan Markle to his family has been ridiculous, absurd, and downright disgusting. It's been shocking for so many people. We're all just waiting to see how it ends now. We know this story will continue to unfold and they're free falling with no end in sight. The royal family took care of Harry, loved him, and protected him, so it's really sad to see how he's turned out. But as bad as Harry is, at least he's not the heir. And thankfully, William is a much better man than Harry will ever be. Meghan should never forget her past actions because the people certainly won't. After insulting the British, she went on to say that she did well to get out of it. Meghan does everything she can to maintain her very tenuous connection to the royal family, believing herself to still be relevant, but she's not. And who does she think she is with that ridiculous crest to do with a crown that she's using for her stupid logo? And she insists on referring to herself as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. And then she refers to her invisible children as prince and princess. She's got some nerve, doesn't she? Well, at least most people see through those two. Most people can see exactly what they're trying to do. Every American Riviera Orchard product product purchase rewards her for everything she has done to try to harm the royal family and Britain. All the lies she has told all her attempts to undermine the monarchy in the country. And Harry's a drug addict, so he doesn't need any more money either. All Harry's going to do with any money he gets is give it to the drug dealers. So, you know, Harry and Meghan can just stay put in Montecito. They can find a different home to live in, one that's not so expensive, and maybe Meghan can cut back on her designer wardrobe. Whatever happens will happen. I guess Meghan can depend on her business to plot to overthrow the royal family. She's going to try to use the royal family's reputation to sell her wares, but it's not going to work. Those two are clearly not connected to the monarchy anymore. I don't care what they act like. Meghan also treated her biological parents so poorly and Harry's parents too. She is not a good person. And I still don't understand what her problem is with the royal family. They treated her so well, they simply don't deserve all this toxicity. And you know, when it comes to racism, the real racist is Meghan Markle herself. She used her circumstances of skin color to her advantage whenever she thought that it was an advantage, and she has covered up her true heritage whenever she thought that was going to be more advantageous. She's not proud of who she is. Come on. And then she whined about her circumstances on her blog to let everybody know that she was excluded when she was a schoolgirl because she was different. Probably a big fat lie again. And then she has caused as much angst as she possibly could among the people around Harry and the people he served as a working royal for no good reason. She whined to Oprah about something that never happened. She went on and on about her circumstances on the recent Stereotypes Against Women podcast. And the crazy thing is, it is Meghan and Harry who are the real racists. Well, folks, I want to send a message to all of you that we can never take advantage of other people to achieve our own goals. Remember that God sees everything and we're going to get back what we put out into the universe sevenfold. So thank you for watching all our videos. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye for now, and I'll be back to see you again soon. We are the King YouTube channel.